Good morning, everyone. I'm Osama Wazne. I'm from the Cleveland Clinic uh, electrophysiology team here in Cleveland, Ohio. So the option trial was uh, initiated because of the current guidelines uh, regarding what to do with stroke prevention after AFib ablation. So after an AFib ablation, uh, patients may continue to have silent atrial fibrillation or they may actually have a truly successful uh, ablation. Nevertheless, the guidelines right now say that the, the reason or the uh, decision to continue oral anticoagulation really depends on the Chad's vast score and not on the perceived outcome of the ablation. Uh, so this is problematic, uh, and the uncertainty is not very good for the patients or for their physicians, because if you have a patient who has silent AFib, uh, um, they may not be too keen on continuing oral anticoagulation because they don't have any symptoms. But if we stop the anticoagulant, then uh, they can have a stroke. On the other hand, if you have a truly successful patient, and we continue their oral anticoagulation without much uh, benefit from redu reduction of stroke, we may expose them to bleeding. Uh, so we thought, okay, is there a new um, technology, for example, that could uh, avoid this uh, problem altogether? And closing the left atrial appendage was one of those things that we thought about. So we randomized patients uh, after an ablation to oral anticoagulation or closure of the left atrial appendage using the Watchman Flex device. There is really not too much uh, research or data on uh, closure of the left atrial appendage after AFib ablation. Uh, there is a lot of retrospective small uh, studies that show that it is safe and effective, but uh, large clinical trials are really um, uh, deficient, or we don't have many of them. There was one study called Prague, but that was only 400 patients in a very high chance bask uh, score um, population. So we randomized uh, uh, patients with a moderate to high risk of stroke, so at least two in men and three in women. Uh, those patients could have had an ablation 90 to 180 days prior to randomization, or uh, we randomized them, and then within 10 days, they would get uh, the oral anticoagulant or continue the oral anticoagulation or get a Watchman Flex device. Uh, we ended up with 1,600 patients, uh, roughly 800 in each arm, randomized to continue oral anticoagulation or left atrial appendage closure with a Watchman device. We followed the patients for three years, and... Um, and then we had uh, the outcomes just presented at AHA. So the key findings were that uh, closure of the left atrial appendage with the Watchman device was equivalent to taking oral anticoagulation with respect to primary efficacy endpoint of death, stroke, and uh, systemic embolism at 36 months. So it was non-inferior, with actually 5.3% of events in the Watchman Flex group versus 5.8% in the oral anticoagulation group. With respect to superiority, Watchman Flex was superior to oral anticoagulation with respect to uh, null procedure major bleeding or clinically relevant non-major bleeding at 8.5% uh, in the Watchman Flex group versus 18.1% in the oral anticoagulation group. I think option has the potential to change clinical practice. And instead of having to worry about what to do with oral anticoagulation after an ablation, whether to continue it or discontinue it. Uh, I think in the relevant patient, and after a good discussion with the patient, uh, closing the appendage is an option, is a choice that can be had uh, for patients who are looking not to continue oral anticoagulation indefinitely. I think your option opens the, the door to further research in AFib ablation patients. One takeaway also from the study was that the risk of stroke after an ablation is low. I think uh, we'll be looking forward to further study on further defining the risk of stroke after an ablation. Um, and also what are the long-term effects beyond the three years? Um, other studies are uh, currently ongoing and are in follow-up. For example, the champion comparing oral anticoagulation to Watchman Flex but, and also the catalyst, which is oral anticoagulation versus another device called the amulet. Uh, in these uh, patients, 
these are all comers, not necessarily after an ablation. Uh, trying to see whether we can uh, replace oral anticoagulation with the alternative of left atrial appendage closure.